When I came back from the combine, I had my top five rumors that I heard, and um, num the only one that's way off right now is number five. Number five was the Vikings' possible solve at quarterback Trey Lance. As it turned out to be, it was Sam Darnold, and then we'll see what they're going to do with their draft choice, which could potentially make number four on the list uh, inoperative as well. Jaden Daniels is QB2. Right now, you're hearing even J.J. McCarthy might go up to two. Oh, man, his Whoa. odds have flipped big I, time. I mean, which is great, uh, but Jaden Daniels and Drake may have their pro days over the next two days, I think. Yeah. I think that might flip what? the script a little I bit. Mean, who knows, man? Because, <laughs> you know, McCar again, Caleb Williams had his pro day, then J.J. had his pro day, and they got to meet him, and a bunch of people have, have heard great things about J.J., which I know, and suddenly it's now a surprise to people. <laughs> Just watch this show, is basically, or talk to me. <laughs> I could have helped you with that. Surprise. <laughs> surprise. He's awesome. <laughs> Number three is the Giants are done with Daniel Jones. We'll see. We'll see how that gets proved out. In the long run. That, that thing may take out the longest to play out. Number one, we just heard from Ryan Poles last hour. He's not going to go there yet. But uh, the Bears' only intention is to draft Caleb Williams and trade Justin Fields. They traded Justin Fields for a reason. It's to draft Caleb Williams. Number two on the list, boy, did I tell you or what? Jerry Jones' definition of all-in is make Dak play out his walk year. Ooh. That's number two. Oh, baby. And... <laughs> His definition of all in, I said when I came back from the combine, everything I heard was not at all what the definition of all in is for you. Definition of all in is like, I'm going to go out. I'm going to get Derrick Henry. I'm going to re-sign Dak. We're going to extend him so we can get some cap space. We're going to get a ton of people in here. So we might not falter in January because we're going all in on this current roster with more reinforcements. Instead, the all in is like we're going all in with just this roster and we're going to make everybody play for their supper to stay with Dallas. From the coach to the quarterback. And you're like, wait a minute. So that means you're going to eat a $59 million cap charge on your cap just this year? That's what you're going to do? The answer turned out to be what? Huh? Uh-huh. Yes. Although they did convert some, uh, some money so they could save a little bit, but not extend them. Not extend them. Oof. Ian Rappaport, while we were talking to Jeff Garland, saying... The quarterback, Dak Prescott, and the Cowboys have a mutual understanding of his contract situation, sources say, with no offers from Dallas despite him being in a contract year. Owner Jerry Jones said, quote, we are where we are, locked and loaded for this year, end quote. No indication a deal is coming. It seems like rumor number two I heard at the Combine was spot on. I don't know how this is going to – I mean, I honestly don't know how this is going to make things better. I don't know. Other than the fact that you can't franchise tag him next year. That's part of his deal. You're going to have to re-sign him. If you're going to let him walk, he could sign anywhere else, and you just get a, a, a comp draft choice if that's the way it works, depending on how many others you sign with no doubt more cap, more, more cap space if he walks. And then what, you're just going to start redoing the deal from scratch and he's going to give you a more Dallas-friendly deal? And I understand some folks out there be like, yeah, Dak has not proven it in January. He hasn't even played a single game in February yet. So Jerry's had enough of it and he's going to make him do it. The it is go play into February if you want your money here. And then we'll put the bag on the desk for you. And I understand what folks are saying that. I just find this, how, how does that make him play better in January? Is that going to make him play better in January? It should. You think? Unless him playing for Dallas isn't, you know, he, he would love to stay. He loves to stay there. But if not, I mean, Tom Brady won elsewhere. Aaron Rodgers trying to win elsewhere. Peyton Manning won elsewhere. I mean, it's... It seems like Dak it's is just not set up to be the, the fall guy for this. When the, you say play better in January, Dak hasn't played awful. It's that's the the that's thing what is I'm we saying. always look at him like he's the fall guy. He didn't give up twenty seven points in the first you know quarter. And a half I understand that. I just wonder like how Jerry Jones's reaction to getting one and done this year, and how that plays out into the Dallas season this coming year, is. 
is one of the stories of 2024. Yeah. And I understand you're like, every year is the Dallas Cowboys are the story of 2024 <laughs> I mean, or 2023 or, or fill in the blank. Or but it, it, it's just mind-blowing to me that instead of just saying, all right, the roster needs to be retooled to take the pressure off of people when they are playing the most pressurized games. Instead, it's like, no, no, we're going to take the lid and we're going to put it on top of the boiling pot and we're going to turn the heat up and that's going to be the way we're going to get better results with a roster that I believe is championship quality. And that is really a pudding I need to see some proof on. Wow. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.